one week in the books for the Southern Ohio Copperheads, and they that was an up and down week. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Ryan Boyd, and I'm joined by my partner Jacob Corrigan. And the Copperheads are three and two after playing in five games, and they've played a couple home games. They start on the road, though. They went one and one on the road. They played against uh, the Hamilton Joes and the Lake Erie Monarchs, and that was really an up and down series for them. Yeah, we talked about it last week. Is that this was a team coming together? You know, only a couple days to get together and practice. They go on the road. They took on Hamilton. A good win there. A tough loss in Lake Erie. A game they had a chance to win down to the final out. Uh, so that was kind of an impressive after a really rough start in that one. Um, so you know. A one and one road trip is splitting that in, in your first road trip of the season with a group of guys that never played together before. That was, you know, that was something that, you know, the coach was, uh, coaching staff was probably okay with splitting that double or splitting the road trip. So you come back home to Bob Wren Stadium where we are today, and the Copperheads have played three games since. Uh, they played the home opener against the Dayton Docks, and they won that one two to one. It was a pitcher's duel, and then after that, they played a double header against the Grand Lake Mariners, and uh, really an up and down uh, game and set of games in that as well. As they blew a six nothing lead in the first game, but then rallied in the second game and won to, uh, to raise their record to three and two. Yeah, you know they came home, got Dayton on Friday. Great crowd at home, great win. And Adam Animal was great on the mound. Pitching staff combined for 13 strikeouts in that game, which has become something we are starting to get accustomed to um, out of the pitching staff. But, you know, it was a great game all together. They got a couple clutch hits, um, and, and they, their only run they gave up was in the ninth inning, and they held on to get that win. But then that, that Grand Lake game was crazy. Yeah, doubleheader played into the wee hours on Monday morning. Pretty much saw everything you could see in a baseball game. We even saw triple plays. Sprinklers came on at one point. Uh, it was just kind of a crazy day uh, for baseball. We had an hour-long rain delay. That first game, it was kind of tough with that delay. Grand Lake showed how good their offenses came back, uh, won that game, but the team showed a lot of resiliency in the second game coming back, getting a win late too. They had four runs and they were early in Monday, early Monday morning runs too because this team scored. It was a seven inning game, scored four runs in the in the sixth inning and ended up winning the game. And, and it, was a, it was a good win for them to split that doubleheader, especially after a tough loss in the first game. Now you look forward and, and as you can see, we are here just hours before the Copperheads play their next game here at Bob Wren Stadium. They'll take on the Stark County uh, Terriers this evening and then they'll play a couple more games this week. They'll play on the road tomorrow in Licking County and then they'll also be playing on Friday and a double header on Saturday and Jake also they have a community outreach program coming up. Yeah definitely busy busy week for the Copperheads. We'll be on the road tomorrow with them. They'll be at Licking County. Uh, they have a few games this weekend including another double header on Saturday. Cross your fingers we don't get another rain delay. <laughs> um, but a bunch of community events too so definitely a lot to get out to and a lot of events to go see. Obviously tonight's game, this weekend and all the community events. That event that uh, Jake alluded to there will be the second community outreach program for the Copperheads and the first Care for All program. They'll be at Stroud's Run from 12 to 2 tomorrow and they'll be partnered up with Oblenis Health Systems and they'll also be working with the uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters for that event. They'll be canoeing and hiking and all sorts of great stuff out there in the beautiful area of Stroud's Run. The, the Copperheads love to help out this, uh, this, meet, or this community I should say. But with that being said, make sure you look into all the media that we have for you. We have a YouTube page, Facebook, Twitter. We really have it all, so look into that. But he's Jacob Corgan. I'm Ryan Boyd, and this has been Copperhead, Copperheads Baseball.